Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Popeye from federaljack.com. I just want to shoot a quick video. I thought you might find this interesting. If you go to YouTube, you'll notice, by the way, that Federal Jack Tube 4, one of my older channels, uh, is back up. Uh, I got all the copyright strikes removed from it, and uh, I have full-length upload capabilities, so I'll be putting uh, some older copies or older episodes of my show up here. Uh, so the people that subscribe to this channel can listen to some of the shows, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, let everybody know uh, where to go, which is D T R H D T Delta Tango Romeo Hotel Radio Archives, all one word on YouTube, and that's the archive channel for my radio show. But I will be uploading some of them here for some of the listeners to uh, check out. Anyway. Uh, since I have the full-length upload capability, what I decided to do was upload a few episodes of uh, a couple full-length movies that I know wouldn't trigger the copyright, we'll say. And of the videos I uploaded, three of them were the missing three episodes of The Men Who Killed Kennedy, Part 7, Part 8, and Part 9. The Smoking Guns, The Love Affair, and The Guilty Men. Now, you'll note that on this upload screen right now, you see Part 8, and uh, Part 7 was uploaded on, on a different uh, a different tab. But on this one, you'll notice it's Part 8, and then Part 9, Part 9 of 9, The Guilty Men. And then underneath that, you'll note that it says, what in the world are they spraying? So, when you go to the video manager page, at least when I do, I see... Conspiracy of Silence, Men Who Killed Kennedy 7, Men Who Killed Kennedy 8, Part 9 is MIA, and then What in the World Are They Spraying? In between these two, there should be another video. So I went back onto the page, and I look it up, and I scroll up above What in the World Are They Spraying, and it's there. And I go, well, there's clearly there's Part 9, you know, right there, Men Who Killed Kennedy, Part 9, The Guilty Men. Well, underneath here, this little thing here says, Upload Complete, your video will be live at, and it gives you a link to go to. And just so I can, you know, verify for people that, you know, would say, Oh, how do we know it says that? Look, Upload Complete, your video will be live at, and it gives you the link underneath the title of the video. So, I go, and I go, okay, well, you know, let's see where the video is. It's got to be live, right? So, open a new tab. Opens up in a new tab, and when you click on it, it says... This video has been removed by the user. Well, I thought that kind of odd because I didn't remember deleting the upload, especially after I just uploaded it. But I'm human. I make mistakes. So it's possible, right? No big deal. So I close it out, and I say I'll just upload it again. So here's the first upload, right? Then my upload of what in the world are they spraying? And then the men who killed Kennedy, part nine. Again, the guilty men. And again, it's I get it. You know, it, it uploaded. You see here that it's got video thumbnails. In fact, look if I click video thumbnails and I click save, it allows me to save the changes. But yet, when I click here and I open the link, and I go to watch it, it tells me this video has been removed by the user. But no, it hasn't. You just watched me update it. Look, I'll do it again. The bottom one, I'll just type in some, you know, what? so it changes it. You'll notice it gives me the op option to save the changes. It saved it automatically. And just so people that think, oh, maybe it didn't, look, I'll add a little more, and I'll click Save Changes. You just saw it save the changes. If the video wasn't there, it would say video not there, problem, blah, 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 blah. So go up to Video Will Be Live. And you can see, open in new tab, okay, it's the top thing, and what do I pick? But open a new tab. It opens it up in a new tab, right? I scroll up here to the new tab, and this is what I get every time. The user, there, this video has been removed by the user, but you just watched me update it. So, literally, here you go again. Here's the link, right? Open a new tab. Click on the new tab. Video has been removed by the user.
That's twice. You just saw me update the video in front of you, and YouTube said, okay, it updated it, and then when I go to watch it, it's not there. And, again, if I go back to here's the, the video page that I would see as an admin, right? So, look, I will just refresh it. But, again, what in the world are they spraying? Men Who Killed Kennedy 8, Men Who Killed, Men Who Killed Kennedy 7. Part 9 is nowhere to be found in between these two or above it. I uploaded it below what in the world and, you know, before and after. So in the list, it should be below and above it. And it's neither. Interesting. Look for the Men Who Killed Kennedy, Part 9, The Guilty Men. I have it uploaded on another, a couple other channels. Grab it before it disappears, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, if... I had it uploaded to this channel in another spot, right? It would have said up here, rejected duplicate upload. But it doesn't say that. It just doesn't appear. It's like that particular episode has been memory hold. I mean, all three of them were memory hold. They don't even admit that it's a nine-part series. They say it's a six-part series. But the point is, uh, this specific uh, episode seems to uh, YouTube seems to have a phobia of it, so I thought you'd all find it interesting. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, and uh, don't forget keep an eye on Federal Jack Tube Number Four because I will be updating it with new videos and stuff now that it's back as an active account. So Federal Jack Tube, the original, is also back. So Federal Jack Tube, Federal Jack Tube Four, Federal Jack Tube Six are the three Federal Jack YouTube accounts. And then for the Radio Archive channel, it is DTRH, Delta Tango Romeo Hotel Radio Archives. DTRH, Radio Archives, all one word, one more time, DTRH, Radio Archives. And that's the archive channel for the radio show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon.